Good morning. We're not really sure as to what's going to be happening today. It is 5.40 in the morning. We are still in Wadi Musa. And all we know is that we have a bus booked to come pick us up in about 20 minutes time to take us on to Wadi Rum. I'm a little nervous because the bus is supposed to pick us up from outside of our hotel. I really hope this works out. But once we get there, we don't really know how the day is going to unfold. So I guess we'll see. We just wanted to give you an update because we've had a bit of a whirlwind morning. The bus that took us from Petra to Wadi Rum dropped us off at the visitor center. And from there, Ahmed, who works at Desert Magic Camp and Resort, which is where we're staying, he picked us up. He drove us into the desert or Wadi Rum to their camp. And we got offered tea as soon as we got to reception. And then they told us they didn't have a four hour Jeep tour going today. So we got upgraded for free to the eight hour Jeep tour, which includes lunch. And that's what we're on right now. So let's start us off with Lawrence Canyon. And this is one of the many stomping grounds of Lawrence of Arabia. I'll probably try and find some more information on that soon, but for now, I appreciate this because this is insane. And enjoy our eight hour tour. Mm -hmm. then this particular part of the world was actually a filming location for it. I believe this area was used for an aerial battle in episode 8. So yeah, this should be pretty familiar. <laughs>
all by myself with a boost from Nick, but he didn't join me, which I can't blame him, but I wish he could share this with me. But I just wanted to say that I'm proud of myself for climbing up here because it was a little bit scary. My legs were shaking, pushed me a little bit outside of my comfort zone. There are tons of people who do it, so it's not like dangerous per se, but still a bit nerve wracking. Now to get down. Yeah, anybody who knows me knows that I suffer a bit from vertigo and like if I'm sort of very secure and like well harnessed then I'd be more than happy to be doing this but since it's not it's way too big a risk and I, I just couldn't so I'm really proud of Rachel for what she did that day. We took a look at the prospect of trying to climb it and just thought, absolutely not. So instead, we've been offered a very surprising British pursuit of uh, tea and biscuits. So let's enjoy. I again decided to brave the climb up onto this bridge, and boy, am I glad I did. Just conquering my fears, and this view is incredible. I just feel so proud of myself. Behind those mountains, we've been told, is Saudi Arabia. Who knew we were this close to the water? Let's go inside and see what our room looks like. showering I think we're feeling cleaner at least but still sweaty because it is hot in this accommodation but what did you think I still struggle to put it into words honestly it's just amazing because I mean obviously this is one of very 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 few deserts I've been in before uh, with the only other touchstone really being the Sahara and that was a completely different thing altogether as well just seeing essentially like desert mountains is such a truly unique thing it's almost like they took Cappadocia and just threw it into a desert mm -hmm. and it's just crazy because actually it's had a look at what Wadi actually meant as well 
and it turns out that what it is is it's a dry river valley so once upon a time probably thousands or millions of years ago this was all water the whole thing and it created these rock formations and then they dried up and the rocks remained and it all became desert instead i can't even fathom that concept that's that's insane especially since this is such a vast area of land as well it is hectares upon hectares upon hectares like it, it could potentially be a country within its own right realistically so yeah, to just think that this all used to be a completely different landscape once upon a time is is nuts. And I think also from a slightly nerdy, slightly pop culture perspective, then, I mean, a lot of the things that have been filmed here in recent times um, in terms of the films, but also um, certain TV programs like Moon Knight, that was all filmed here. So being able to see the actual location and get a sense of kind of just how otherworldly it seems. I get it. This is basically an incredible landscape which can be kind of displaced onto like potentially another planet or it could be pretty much whatever else you want to make of it. And it's just, it it's a stunning place. Just fantastic. Mm -hmm. What about you? You know, the human mind really tries to understand things and categorize them and relate them to other experiences or things we've seen. So my mind went two places. One was to Morocco, to the Sahara. And the Sahara was only rolling dunes, whereas here you have that combination of the rolling dunes in the desert, as well as these massive, massive terracotta and tan rock formations that just rise up out of the earth. And of course, the Sahara didn't have any of that. And then the other thing that I thought of was Petra, which we just saw over the past two days. And the difference to me there is that while they do also have these sandstone and granite rock formations, just like here, there are temples and churches and monasteries and houses carved into those rock formations, whereas here, there isn't. There's no buildings in sight. So it kind of adds to your point, people have lived here for thousands of years, mm -hmm. and people still do. It's just, obviously, it's much more nomadic in nature, so you see fewer traces of it, but it's definitely... Like with inscriptions in the rocks and stuff like that, you can still see it. It's just incredible to think about. Yeah, the prehistoric inscriptions. Yeah, absolutely. It's crazy how long people have been in this area. The cradle of civilization or very close to the cradle of civilization. Yeah, just nuts. But the tour was just incredible. Getting to see this area, I feel so lucky. It was such a unique experience and... I'm never going to forget it. Jordan has been amazing. It's, I love this country. It's such a cool country. I think dinner is coming up next. That's included here at... Desert Magic Camp. Just so you know, it is awesome here. I think I mentioned before that they upgraded us on that tour. It was supposed to be four hours. We ended up doing an eight hour. And then we also have paid for a... I don't know if you would call this a tent. I mean, it's a very luxury indoor tent. Yes. With a washroom that, by the way, has very hot water, has cold water. The water pressure is fantastic. Seemingly, all of the desert accommodations we have have great bathrooms. Yes. But they up or they upgraded our accommodation because we also have a terrace, which we weren't supposed to have. So I can't wait to go see what dinner's like. I'm hungry and it's almost eight o'clock. And if lunch was anything to go by, we are in for a treat, so let's get on it.
from dinner. It's a lot later than dinner officially started. It's uh, 12.03. It's the next day. Yep. And the main reason for that is not just because the food was lovely, but also because we ended up meeting a couple who were also from Canada. Oh, friend! And they were just lovely. And we just got chatting. And next thing you know, we're having drinks with them outside, watching the stars and just getting to know each other. And honestly, it was just the best time. It really was. We spent four hours chatting to Alan and Colton, and we just had such a great time. Mm-hmm. And I think we're going to try and see if we can meet up with them for breakfast as well. So we'll see you at breakfast. Good morning from Wadi Rum. We enjoyed meeting our new friends from Canada so much that we've decided to meet them for breakfast this morning too. Given just how good dinner was last night as well, the food was exceptional. We are absolutely pumped for breakfast, so let's go. was absolutely incredible and just like last night we ended up talking to Alan and Colton for another few hours so it's already time to check out. It's been an absolutely rip-roaring ride since we got here but it's been just amazing. Yeah. The whole combination of everything including the people we've met, the tour and also the accommodation. I wouldn't have swapped this experience for anything. No. So yeah, gotta pack up, check out, and then we're gonna get our bus back up to a man. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.